Hey YouTube, time for a reef update. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian again, and I'm coming at you with a reef update for December of 2017. What I thought I'd start doing is um, combining the 125-gallon uh, and the BioCube into uh, just one video, up, up, uh, you know, monthly update video versus having separate ones on each of them. Be easier for watching, and uh, I'll just continue to upload both the video to both playlists, though, um, so that if you if you keep track of my playlist, you'll have that info um, on either one of those. But anyway, um, before we get started too, I just wanted to uh, remind everybody that I do sell Southern Delight fish food in bulk and bottles. There's several great formulas for saltwater tanks, including the Marine Mix and Nano Krill, um, and among others. So um, if you're interested, uh, I do sell it in both bulk and bottles, and uh, my email is below. To find out more information, shoot me an email. I can get you a price list. You can submit your orders right through there. So. Thanks to everybody that's supported my business, uh, Aquatic Support Systems, uh, since I have been running that uh, for the last uh, handful of months, and uh, we'll uh, continue to hopefully watch it grow. All right, we'll start with 125 gallon here. So there's been quite a few changes since the last uh, video I did. Uh, we had a, uh, a coral swap locally and I uh, also got some great deals at one of my local fish stores New Wave Aquaria shout out to them um, got some great deals uh, there uh, their Black Friday Cyber Monday weekend type sale um, so I'll just kinda go through everything and let you guys know um, how things are doing uh, this leather which I've had for a while now is doing great a um, lot of new growth on that uh, green Monty there this guy back here, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but I got that at the Coral Swap and it's doing great. Uh, the Duncan's been doing decent. Haven't seen a ton of growth, but it's uh, it's been doing good. Um, I got this, uh, this green coral here, I forget what type it is, um, at, uh, at the Coral Swap. The leather's doing fairly good and I got a couple other Monty caps up there. I bought this... Um, Oh, Zoa colony, I guess you'd say, with a few different uh, types of Zoas on it at the frag swap as well. There's another one right here that I had over in the Nano, but uh, the Zoas just haven't been opening up. My, uh, my Gobi over there has been on it all the time lately, and so I'm not sure if they're dead or damaged or if they'll start to open up. I just moved it over here last night. Um, some other Zoa small frag colonies uh, that are starting to do decently um, throughout this area here. My uh, green torch is it's just not opening like I'd like it to. I'm not sure what's going on there, but we'll continue to watch that. Uh, picked up a few mushrooms. You can see purple one there, a green one there, another green one there. There's a green favia there. This. Uh, this frog spawn or octo spawn right here, um, the kind of purplish one, just hasn't seemed to open much either since I've had it. There's a nice little red mushroom, uh, two polyps. This guy I got at the frag swap too. It's been doing okay. Um, we'll continue to hopefully watch that grow. Uh, one of the things I'm most uh, proud of that I got at the frag swap is this nice big uh, bubble coral. It's uh, it's about midday right now, and it inflates quite a bit throughout the day, so I should have shot this video later, but um, it gets a lot bigger. And I still am having some, um, some what do you call it, um, the brown algae, I'm blanking out on the name right now, diatoms um, in the water, and that's expected with a, with a newer tank, uh, that'll go away with time. Really digging this green octo spawn here. It's been doing real well. Picked up a new hammer uh, right here. My toxic green hammer died, um, so I've got another one. It's not not quite as nice, but it's 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 gonna work. And then uh, a couple of acans down here. 
purple torch, kind of like the green, just hasn't been opening like I'd like it to. We'll just continue to monitor it and see what happens. Frog spawn's doing real well. Uh, picked up some of these uh, encrusting corals up here, and then this, um, this one at the frag swap as well. Unfortunately, um, some of the vendors don't do a real good job of, of being able to tell you what, what, these, what the corals are. And uh, even like this purple one back here, I don't know what it's called. Maybe some of you guys can help me with some of the names of these. And then my uh, anem anemone, anemone, nem, um, is doing real good. I think in my last video I mentioned that it had separated or split. And uh, let's see if we can get a better view over here. Not really. Um, it had gone into two separate areas, both kind of in the back. Now it's kind of come back together and it's just been hanging out right next to each other. The fish don't uh, seem to host with it as well. Any of the clownfish, which I'll get into in a minute. Um, and then the green star polyps are continuing to grow and I, I just want them to take over this entire rock structure and just have a big mound of green star polyp over there. So fish wise, um, one loss and some additions. My chocolate tang died. I'm not sure what happened, but one morning I came out and he was up against the gyre um, and not doing well. Uh, or not, he was dead, I should say. No signs of anything, but uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, the Wyoming white clownfish are both doing real good, but uh, again, no hosting in the anemone. Um, I got two basic Ocellaris clowns at the frag swap just because they were only 10 bucks a piece. And then I got two snowflakes, which are over here and here. They're doing real well too. The yellow tang's doing good. He's got a little bit of nipping on its fins. Um, but uh, I think everything's gonna be okay. And then the naso tang, I'm not sure where he is right now. He likes to hide sometimes when I get close to the tank and that's a little cave that he'll hide in down there. I've got a yellow watchman goby that also hides kind of in this area. I don't see him out at all right now. Um, and then this uh, pajama cardinal still back there as well. Um, I've added a few cleaner shrimp and peppermint shrimp. And then I'll be adding some fire, or there is one red fire shrimp. He's kind of back behind that trumpet coral over there. There's another cleaner, there's another cleaner. Looks like one of the cleaners have molted at some point. Um, but yeah, things are going real good over here. Equipment wise, everything's going good. I'm thinking about adding an auto dosing system to the uh, tank here fairly soon. And maybe one of those auto top off reservoirs that you can hook directly to your RODI system so you don't have to, don't have to drag buckets up here to refill it. Um, let's go over here and uh, take a look at the bio cube. Um, it's also been doing fairly good. i um, been seeing quite a bit of bounce back. I know in some of my last videos I've talked about you know problems I've been having with it. Um, I'm getting the parameters back in check. I was able to get out the strawberry crab and the pistol shrimp, one of which was the culprit of killing all my decorative shrimp. As you can see, I do have a cleaner shrimp back there now. And I've got two peppermints in here. I'll get a uh, fire shrimp as well and probably some sexy shrimp at some point. Um, so that was a lot of work. I had to take this whole thing apart, put it back together. I'm not quite happy with how I was, I, I couldn't get the scape exactly how I had it before, but I got it as close as I could and I'm just going to leave it at this point. Uh, you can see this nice big torch right here. I got this at the frag swap for dirt cheap. It's like a nine headed, um, torch. It's been super cool since I've had it. Got a new hammer there. The green octospawn's been bouncing back. There you can see that Golby I was talking about that was all over that rock filled with uh, Zoas. Now he's on the other rock that I've got with some Zoa frags. But Zoa frags are doing pretty good back here. Um, I'm going to probably get rid of this pally here. The pally over there I, I like, so I'm going to keep that one. But you can see some pretty good growth with some Zoas. The Duncan. This is the original one. I fragged it and, and put a piece over in the other tank. It's doing okay. A couple of heads died off 
and uh, but uh, as the day goes on it'll open up a little bit more than this um, and uh, we'll just continue to watch it um, the uh, leather on top is looking nice this coral here, um, next to the leather, I'm not sure what it's called, but I got it at the frag swap. Same with the one back in there between those two. And then this green encrusting coral, I forget what it is, up by the cleaner shrimp there. That's been in this tank for quite some time, and it's doing really well. This leather here is doing pretty good, this toadstool. And then you see this little teeny anemone next to it. I've had that in here for quite a while. And it's never really opened much. When I first got it, it did. And then it, it like basically hid forever. And now it, lately it's, it's resurfaced. And it's opening a little bit more and more all the time. I'm trying to target feed it a little bit. So we'll see what happens. You can see I got some rose tip bubble and enemy action going here. Um, what had happened is I bought a nice, decent sized one. And for once, an anemone... That I've had put went right where I wanted it without me even really doing anything it, it was on a rock when I got it so I set it here it it moved off of the rock that it came with and I took the rock out and it still just hung out right in this area where I wanted it the clownfishes were hosting or it was hosting them however you want to say it and then it split into three within like a week of me getting it now you can see that uh, two of the pieces are back here, and one of them is right down here. One of the clowns, or actually both of the clowns, are still kind of hanging out in it. I got my arm around the side of the tank, so hopefully this is coming out well. You can get a good shot of that toadstool right there too, and then that other nem that I was talking about. But uh, yeah, the clowns are doing good. Um, the bicolor pseudo is gone. I think I talked about that in my last video. Uh, I've still got the goby in here. Um, and I'll be adding a little bit more livestock. Um, maybe one or two fish and another shrimp or two to this tank. So I think that covers about everything. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks to everybody that subscribes to these videos and watches them. I really appreciate it. My um, my reefing videos don't get as many views as my freshwater ones do, so um, appreciate anybody that uh, could share this or get the word out there on my reefing side of things too. Um, and uh, you know, start you know my my uh, freshwater videos get thousands and thousands of views. These just get a few hundred usually. So if you're in a reefing community of any sort, whether it be YouTube or Facebook or anything like that, if Feel free to share this, spread the word, and hopefully we can get some more views. Um, any of you guys that do like shout outs on your channels or whatever, um, or spotlights, I'd be happy to give you some video or whatever if you want to spotlight uh, my channel, that'd be great. But anyways, uh, and like I said earlier, um, if you're looking to buy some Southern Delight fish food, hit me up, my email will be below, and uh, I can get you all the details there. Until next time, thanks for watching, and uh, if I don't do any more videos this year. Have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and we'll talk to you in 2018. Later.